Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update number two today. I briefly talked in the last video about XRP, the way they are going to work, integrate, partner with Wanchain. This is going to rip wide open the DeFi space for XRP holders. I'm talking about liquidity and yield farming activities where you can really leverage your XRP to get those rewards. The founder and CEO, Jack Liu, will be joining me on the channel on Wednesday. I just can't wait. We're going to learn about OneSwap, and we're also going to learn about OneLend. OneLend is a place that you can connect to and supply the markets with your XRP and receive rewards. Uh, this is also a place that you can borrow should you want to do that. So please stay tuned. I think it's going to be very informative. And also keep an eye out on the Twitter tomorrow for a big announcement. Now, talking about announcements, there was a big one <laughs> made three days ago that I wanted to talk about, but I was traveling, so uh, I was unable to dive deep, but I'm going to do it now, and it's all about Novati, yet another RippleNet member that is driving remittances into the Southeast Asian market. They are first starting with the Philippines using the Filipino-owned company iRemit. So several thousand transactions a month are going to be processed on RippleNet, according to this announcement. iRemit leverages the digital asset XRP as a bridge currency for those that need to do cross-border payments and have the receiving country of the Philippines. So remember, utility matters, and this is real XRP utility. The managing director, Peter Cook, I think this video went under the radar because only 69 views back from December 16th, 2020. I want you to hear him talk about Ripple. Partnership with Ripple. Tell us a bit more about that. Ripple really uh, is a very innovative global network. It's, it's, uh, it's cryptocurrency or digital asset is called XRP, and it is the third largest of the cryptocurrencies with actually a market cap, I think at the moment of about US 27 billion. But our uh, work with Ripple is around cross-border payments and integrating into their network, which has about 300 banks and financial services companies that, that use the Ripple network for uh, very fast, uh, accurate transactions, cross-border payments. So uh, from Novartis point of view, we can be a major uh, partner of Ripples in Australia for both sending funds from Australia to, uh, well, initially Southeast Asia, but then globally, and uh, on, on the near-term roadmap for bringing funds into Australia and settling out through the new payments platform uh, for instant payments. So essentially, um, for, for our cross-border payments division, we have now partnered with one of the major networks in the world. And ex so they are calling Ripple one of the major networks in the world. And did you catch that they are going to start with Southeast Asia, but then expand on beyond that? Now, looking at the liquidity index, you can see here that the Philippines coin.ph, which is really the facilitator for those uh, remittances that go into the Philippines using the digital asset XRP as a bridge currency. It started really popping February 1st, and it has since continued to climb. So I think like the Mexican corridor, the Philippine corridor is going to be very, very key to the ODL, the on-demand liquidity. And partnering with Ripple had a really good effect on Novati too for their price. As a public company, they were up 5% after the integration went live with Ripple. So the article here states that Novati is also in discussions uh, with others. They're underway to add further Southeast Asian clients. To the service and i did read in one of the articles and i can't remember which one i read it in because i'm reading so many articles and then i narrow it down just to a few to share with you um 
Vietnam was mentioned in one of the articles. So possibly uh, it was, yeah, it was actually in common. Yeah, it was Vietnam. So anyway, uh, I think we're going to look forward uh, very much to seeing lots of announcements coming out of the Asia and Southeast Asian region when it comes to ODL. And this is an important partner, yeah, for Ripple as well, because for Australia, uh, Filipino born people, uh, the fifth largest migrant community, the median age is 39, which I thought was interesting, and 60% are female. Uh, I think the reason why is because I looked up what the top jobs were for that demographic and it's registered nurses and number two is software programmers. Those are the two top jobs that they are filling in that country. So let's listen to this section here. It's just 30 seconds long, but I want you to really pay attention uh, who Ripple is side by side with in getting this digital banking service, their uh, cross-border payments done. So a principal issuing agreement with Visa for Australia, an associate license in New Zealand with Visa, um, uh, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, Apple Pay for our, our issuing services so that we can issue cards directly into phones. Um, extensive work we've done with the, the Chinese payment methods such as Alipay, WeChat Pay, Union Pay. Um, a very uh, futuristic uh, broad um, uh, blockchain network uh, called Ripple for cross-border payments. It's kind of cute the way he said it's a very futuristic <laughs> blockchain network uh, called Ripple for cross-border payments. Yes, yeah, side by side with Visa, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, Alipay. That was just the top tier. <laughs> yeah, it has really been a tier one it's in the tier one payments company by use case now. It, that is very clear. And you, Emi Yoshikawa, she is at Ripple. She is really taking care of a lot. <laughs> She's got a big job. She's doing Money Tap too, which uh, I just kind of remembered. But she's uh, got a big responsibility uh, with with things that are going on here in Asia. And she wrote an article today or supplied this article to the South Korean media. And it's all really good information, but there were two things that stood out for me. And one was that 69% of banks are experimenting with blockchain. And that is in order to drive their digital payment options. And the second thing are, uh, well, was the information she said that payments account for up to 40% of a bank's operating expenses. So you can see how the Ripple technology with the use of the digital asset XRP is so incredibly important. All right, everybody, we're jumping to the fluff. And I wanna talk about, well, the Ishikawa Hoshi Inn. This is, I should say, it was officially the oldest hotel in the world up until 2011, when it was found that another hotel in Yamanashi Prefecture preceded it by 13 years. So they're both very old. The inn has been receiving guests since the year 718, <laughs> 718, 1300 years ago. And most people couldn't afford to stay there, I have to tell you, because of the cost. Uh, I think the least expensive room was in the neighborhood of $300 per person. So it was one of those places where a lot of people thought, oh, I'd never be able to stay there. But in times like these, everybody's doing what it takes to survive. And this hotel is now available for just over $100 per night. And not only that, it includes two meals. So this is a real chance of a lifetime. Here's an example of one of the meals. This is definitely, this is definitely, <laughs> I thought I could tell really for sure. The tray looks like it's breakfast, but with the meat and the shabu shabu, which is in the, in the water, it 
now looks like a dinner meal to me. Okay, well, I can tell you this is one of the meals. <laughs> and yeah, it's probably, gosh darn it. Yeah, it's it could be one or the other, but it's probably with the Shabu Shabu, it's a, it's a nighttime dinner. And they deliver it to your room, which is really great. And on the property is something that is registered as a tangible cultural heritage uh, piece, and that is a guest house, which many famous people have stayed at. It's been made without one nail. It's all tongue and groove. Can you imagine? Wow. I'd love to really get up close and look at the details on that one. All right, everybody, do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.